Hello everyone. Today I want to show you guys how to install and set up the Vimo Major in order to open and close your garage and how to set up the sensor, the magnetic sensor to notify you if your garage door is open or not. Okay, so let me show you very quick. So this is my phone. Here it is, so I have my garage door, I just click on that and my garage door opens like this. So when I click back again and it's notifying me that my garage door opens. So if I click back on this, as you see it's closing my garage. Okay, let's go step by step to show you how to do this. Okay, when you get your Vimo Maker, it comes with this uh, instruction it's very simple and easy I don't want to go through every single steps of this as it's very straightforward and you guys can just connect your Vimo maker on the Wi-Fi it's on Wi-Fi and then set it up on your phone on the app and uh, you can find this instruction on any YouTube channel okay once you install the uh, app on your uh, phone so it gives you the Vimo, this is my kitchen switch, this is another Vimo switch and this is uh, my Vimo maker. So I go to edit and uh, I call it whatever I want, so I call it the garage, it's my garage and you can assign any picture like garage door, anything you want. The important part is to change the switch type to momentary and uh, not the toggle and sensor should be yes, not no. Okay, you hit save. Then you go to rules. In rules, you have to define a new rule. Hit this plus button. Since I already have uh, done this step. So you see that I defined, uh, so let me edit and add one here. So you wanna go to get notified. Here, get notified and with maker sensor. So you hit that and uh, so you set up the condition so if the uh, garage uh, door sensor triggered then notify me on the message what happened something happened you can call this garage door open something like that so i've already done this step and this is my notification okay guys once you finish setting up your app you need to get back your garage install your vimo maker plug in that the outlet and the ceiling and uh, so this, uh, the garage door opener that I have, the brand is Genie. So in my garage door opener, there are six slots. Here it is, six slots. One, two, three, four, five, six. The numbered one and two, when you short these two, so it uh, opens and close, uh, closes my uh, garage, door, uh, garage door. And the four, five, and six, uh, it's uh, connected to the sensor, the magnetic sensor, which is up here. This is my magnetic sensor, as you see up there. And this is magnetic sensor for uh, to notify the garage door opener if it's completely open. So uh, get back to these six slots. Five and six is connected to the. A magnetic sensor which notifies garage door opener if the garage door is completely closed. Four and five, which is here, it tells garage opener if uh, the door is completely open. So the one that we're gonna use is five and six for Vimo, Vimo Maker, and one and two to open and close the garage. So let me take this off very quick. Let me show you how I install that. Okay. So, as you see, this one, I used the first two slots of the Vimo Maker to 5 and 6 on the uh, garage door opener and uh, these two for the relay of Vimo Maker to 1 and 2, the slot number 1 and 2 on the garage door opener. Let me put this guy back. Uh, so very quick note is that so my garage door opener has this uh, magnetic sensor so for uh, some of you guys you probably don't have these sensors 
and you probably need to go to Amazon or uh, go to any uh, shops to buy those magnetic sensors they don't cost uh, a lot so they're probably about five six bucks and uh, you can use the external uh, magnetic sensor but I'm lucky I had those in my garage door opener after you install uh, your Wemo maker you want to make sure that the garage door is still functioning so I press this button it should notify me if uh, my garage door is open or not mm, not yet yeah here it is so it tells me garage door open so it doesn't matter if uh, you are in the app or not but it always uh, tells you that uh, the garage door is open or not so I go back to now this time I want to use my phone to close my garage door I go here the device and click on this it's supposed to close my garage door everything looks good thanks for watching this and have a good one